Hi guys, welcome back to Henshin Saunters. This is a new segment that we're trying out called Retro Review, where we look at things that are already out there. <laughs> so instead of us doing current movies or current video games, current books, etc., we're looking at stuff that's, you know, it might have been out last year, but it's still considered retro for the purposes of these videos. Um, so I'm going to be doing, for the first video here, the movie Stretch. <laughs> It occurred to me when watching this movie that I hadn't seen a single trailer, clip, review, or anything. Now that's not to say that these things don't exist, it's just that this movie wasn't promoted in that way. Now similarly, the chances of anyone watching this video are pretty slim, but I felt I needed to get my thoughts out there. The movie is directed by Joe Carnahan, who has directed such classics as The A-Team and Smoke and Aces. My reaction to The A-Team can pretty much be summarised by a De Niro shrug. However, Smoke and Aces I really enjoyed, and potentially is one of my top 100 favourite films. Although the thought of having to put that list together is terrifying. So anyway, the movie stars Patrick Wilson as Kevin, or Stretch, who is a down-on-his-luck wannabe actor turned limo driver who had his heart broken a year ago by The One. Needless to say, he hates his job and needs a revelation of sorts to prevent him from blowing his head off like his ex-co-worker Carl, played by Ed Helms. Now to rub salt in the wound, Stretch also owes six grand in gambling debt and must pay by midnight. Throughout the course of the movie, Wilson's character goes further and further down the rabbit hole, impersonating a police officer, evading the FBI, and also dodging a muscle-bound tow truck driver who wants to take him to a rape party. On top of all this, Carl, played by Ed Helms, continuously shows up and mocks Stretch in his imagination, and he tries to encourage him to go back to his old ways by snorting cocaine and drinking on the job. The movie also stars Chris Pine, James Badge Dale, and Jessica Alba, as well as throwing in some cameos from David Hasselhoff, Norman Reedus, and also Ray Liotta. I had a blast watching this movie, so much so that I watched it again the day after seeing it the first time. It's a very competent flick, which has a lot of throwbacks to 80s action movies, especially in its soundtrack, and I really enjoy Patrick Wilson's performance. I think he's an incredibly humorous and endearing and likeable character in this movie. And similarly, Chris Pine delivers some great laughs as well. The action scenes, though there's only a few, are very well shot and you can always see what's going on. Now to briefly mention the Blu-ray, which was my preferred format of viewing. I think this movie was released on VOD when it was released last year or whatever, but I chose to watch it on Blu-ray. The picture quality, as expected with modern day Blu-rays and modern day movies, it's shot on digital so it looks great, it sounds great, however it's a vanilla disc, there's no special features, so if you're looking for behind the scenes you have to look elsewhere. All in all, I really enjoyed the movie and can't wait to see what Joe Carnahan does with Mark Miller's Nemesis when that eventually comes out. Thanks for watching and if you'd like to see more retro reviews, please click the thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that good stuff and we'll keep doing them. Thank you.